All right, the testing on our modular system here continues. If you're not, if you're not familiar with what we're doing here, watch the last three videos on this channel and you should be ready to go. All right, one of the things that I wanted to test is to see how much these uh, little cell fuses will blow at, right? I've done that about three years ago, but now I have new batches of resistors that I'm using, so I wanna know where they burn at now. So I did this little test. Let's watch the video. Okay, so it's recording. All right, here we go. Eight amps. Ooh. All right. Right at the instant where the fuse blew, the meter was reading 10 amps. So I guess I have 10 amp fuses. Another thing that I noticed in my previous test was the fact that, that when I loaded a board, I would see cell number one having the highest voltage and cell number seven having the lowest and every cell in between will be gradually less and less. My hypothesis is that, well, that the extra resistance of these long trays going from cell number seven all the way to the top of the board to the connectors is doing that, right? So I wanted to test that today by changing the way I connect these boards and see if I can eliminate that little slant that you will see on the cell log eight. So let's start these tests. All right, let's load up this battery pack okay all seven cells ah, see I want to say number seven it's lower which one's the lowest number five no number five is the lowest so that's the weak cell there okay let's load it up a little bit more or a bit more actually 230 watts nine amps on that board oh look at that board that board is getting hot on those points what about on the other points See on the other side it's pretty even it's just on this side that is uneven that one's hot i mean cold and these are hot hey 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 no 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 go over there my boy okay all right which one's the lowest lowest is the seventh see the seventh cell that is the lowest Okay, so you see that around 230. Let's uh, let's reset this test with higher output. All right, 280, 300 watts. Ooh. Ooh, 133. Those are getting hot. Hundred and forty-nine Fahrenheit. Ooh, look at that board glow. This is uh what? 300 watts 165 that's the weak point in that board is that one right there uh, look at that there's a delta of 60 millivolts and number seven cell number seven is the lowest 
And I mean, look at that. It just looks like it goes higher and higher. Number one being the highest. Number one is being the highest. So that is, that is a problem. I mean, number five is a weaker sell because look at that. It's going under the threshold there. It's about to go under three volts. What are we looking at there? 200 degrees. Ooh, yeah, this board can do 400 watts. Fourteen amps. That's okay. There we go. That cell is too low now. The BMS would have stepped in at this point, and then it would have boom. There we go. Let's see. There we go. So now it bounced back. All right. Let's change the wiring. Now the negative is here, right next to the most negative from the cell and the positive is being grabbed from here which is about the same distance from the most positive cell so now they have equal distance there's symmetry there let's see if that makes a difference on how each cell gets loaded up all right take two now the posts the terminals are symmetrical so let's see if that see how these do Okay, 160 watts. Mm, number five is the low. Okay, let's load it up some more. Boom. Now I have put three fuses here. Um, let's load it up. Okay, look at that. Much better loading of the cells. Only 25 millivolt difference. Okay. 256. Okay. Even at 400 watts. Okay. All right, fully charged pack. Let's load it up. What are we doing here? 255. Four hundred watts. Yeah, look at those cells. A delta of forty millivolts. There we go. Okay. Let's rewire it. Let's load it up. 400 watts. And look at those cells. There's a delta of 54 millivolts. Yeah, see that problem is real. Luckily, this problem is easily fixable by making these small changes to the PCB. 
Thank you for watching this video. And next test, I will build an entire pack using some of the most affordable 18650 cells that you can find on the internet. See you in the next video. Bye.